Her boss is explained part 3, the queen bee. Lower states that after the dryads ripped out some of Cthulhu's eyeball, she ate some of his eyeball, which is like, what the f***? It mutated into this huge bee which shits out larvae. When approaching the beehive, weapons, tools, and bombs will all destroy the hive, so make sure to watch where your sword and pickaxe are swinging. She has three different attacks, charging at you right to left, spawning baby bees, and flying around shooting poison stingers. This is the first fight that is heavy on movement speed, so you'll at least need spectre boots and the shield of Cthulhu in expert mode. Ricochet weapons like the mini shark with meteor bolts and the water bowl are great weapons, since they bounce off the walls and have a chance to hit her. It's also advisable to keep any broadsword so that you can easily defeat the baby bees without having to struggle shooting the smallest target in the world. She drops a lot of good loot and money, especially the bee gun and everyone's favorite weapon, bee nades. All for part 4.